Hey guys, it's Nikki. You may have saw my other video about my Comifera business that I um, just started like two weeks ago. But I didn't want all my videos that I'm doing to be about Comifera. I want it to be about life too. And I want to um, take you on my journey of self-discovery. Finding, I mean, I'm almost 40 years old and I'm still finding myself. And I'm trying to still love myself and I'm trying to still have more confidence and so when I first made that video something kind of awoken in me and was pushing me to do more and to reach out and just share my journey. I am by four not a public speaker. I have zero confidence but we're gonna do this together and um and we'll see. I mean, we'll see how much I get better as the time goes on. But um, I just wanted to really introduce myself. As you know, my name's Nikki. Um, I was born in Southwest Louisiana. I am married to Chris, and we have been married, well, it'll be 15 years in May. We have a 10 year old who will be 11 in two weeks. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. 11 year old boy named Alex. He is got the biggest heart but also going through the the twings of the attitude and the you know <sighs> and all, all the things um we the past couple years have been really a struggle for us um I think it was 2018 my husband took another job two years after two years almost to the day after he got this job he, we had just closed on our house i think like two months before the our you know thought our forever home was going to be our forever home two months before he lost his job so we got right to it applications 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 and finally in september this was in June, I think, and in September, we got a, finally got like a little nipple, a bite, and we came out to Arizona and found us a place to stay and went back home and um, packed up our house and moved to Arizona. No family, no friends here, didn't know anybody, but we had faith. And we took off so um, that was in 2020 and that was the height of the pandemic like how are you supposed to find friends when nobody's coming out of their house so 2020 um, we moved in and 2021 I think my husband lost his stepdad who was awesome to us and that was in I don't remember, June or July of 2021. So at the end of 2021, we found out my mom had kidney cancer. And she was very optimistic and she was going to beat it, you know. In May of 2022, she, um, had to have a surgery on her leg because the cancer had got to the bone and it was either have the surgery or you were gonna break your femur you know so she had the surgery and I went down the day after she had the surgery and just from then she just kind of declined and in June of June of 2020 through 2022 we lost my mom who was the best person in the world she was the best mom she wasn't perfect but you know what she was darn near close to perfect she she was a great mom she loved her grandkids um just just such a good person and such you know full of life and just but you know what she always told me she knew where she was going she was going to heaven and I believe the 
that's what she said. So that happened in 2022, but at the end of 2022, we closed on our house in Arizona. We bought us a house. And um, then the beginning of 2023, we decided to homeschool Alex. And let me tell you, it has been a journey. It has been a learning process, but it has been awesome to be home with him, to watch him learn, to know what he's learning, and to just connect. And you know, it's, 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 it's just awesome. So we were doing that, and then I started selling Palm Affair to give me something to do. I'm starting to cry. Give me something to do. And um, just empower other women and help other women because I really, enjoy the products so that kind of is my backstory there's a lot more in there that we will get to later it will go more in depth to things but i hope you enjoyed it and that you keep coming back because we are gonna do life together oh and by the way this is my office but my son took over it and as you see the futon is against the closet door because he made room to play his VR. Because he was hitting everything with the, the thingies, the um, controllers. He, you should, if I could find them, they are black because he keeps hitting things with them. Whose kid does this? Like, <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and um, just keep being you and rock this life together. Bye.